Imagine gazing up at the starlit sky on a clear night, the universe sprawling endlessly above you. Among those countless stars and galaxies, could there be eyes watching us? The thought that higher alien civilizations might be monitoring Earth is not just the stuff of science fiction, but a subject of serious speculation and study. This possibility taps into one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? For centuries, humans have been fascinated by the idea of extraterrestrial life. From ancient astronomers to modern scientists, the quest to find other intelligent beings has been relentless. But what if the search is redundant because they have already found us? The idea that advanced alien civilizations are observing us might seem outlandish, but it is supported by some intriguing arguments and theories. One of the key ideas supporting this concept is the vastness of the universe itself. With billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, the statistical likelihood of Earth being the only planet with life seems incredibly slim. If life has arisen elsewhere, it is conceivable that some of these life forms have evolved into civilizations far more advanced than our own. These civilizations, with their superior technology and knowledge, might be capable of not only detecting our presence, but actively monitoring us. Moreover, recent revelations and declassified documents from world governments and space agencies have added fuel to the fire. Incidents involving unidentified flying objects, UFOs, that defy our understanding of physics, suggest that if we are being observed, it is by beings with technology that far surpasses our own. These mysterious encounters, often backed by radar data, pilot testimonies, and other sensory information, paint a picture of highly advanced surveillance capabilities. Why would these civilizations be interested in Earth? The reasons could be as varied as the many stars in the sky. It could be out of scientific curiosity, much like how we study less developed species to understand more about biology and evolution. Perhaps they are keeping a benevolent watch over us like guardians of the galaxy, ensuring that we do not destroy ourselves with nuclear weapons or environmental catastrophes. Or maybe their intentions are not so benign, and monitoring is merely a precursor to something more direct. Engaging with the idea that we might be under the watchful eyes of a higher civilization forces us to confront our place in the cosmos. It challenges our perceptions of superiority and sovereignty on Earth. If we are being observed, what might these civilizations think of us? Are we seen as an immature species, reckless with our planet and ourselves, or as a potential future ally or threat? These questions are not just philosophical. They drive the scientific pursuit to advance our technology and deepen our understanding of the universe. As we continue to send signals into space, whether through broadcasts or spacecraft, we may be unwittingly inviting the attention of these watchers. Thus, the idea of being monitored by higher alien civilizations is not just about them, it's also about us. How we handle the knowledge of our place in the universe and what we choose to broadcast to the unknown watchers among the stars. Science fiction has bombarded our collective imagination with aliens. So much so that now we're pretty much obsessed with aliens. Every day there's someone claiming to have spotted a UFO or having been abducted by little gray beings. Recently, someone even claimed that she was impregnated by an alien. The world of imagination is boundless, but that claim is a bit too much, even for me. Either way, we've ensured we don't hold back at all. Not when it comes to all things alien. Countless alien civilizations and interplanetary conflicts between species reign large in our imaginations and on screen. Conspiracy theories are posted by the dozen on Reddit. In the real world, however, we're yet to come across even microbial alien life, let alone intelligent, spacefaring, advanced civilizations. And ever since we evolved into moderately intelligent beings, there's been one question on everyone's minds. Where are the aliens? The answer to that might actually be very simple. We are the ones being watched. Stealthily. By advanced beings who we can say are our cosmic ancestors. They can see us, but we can't see them. Have you ever experienced something surreal? Something out of this world for a brief second and then, poof, gone? Maybe you tried telling your friends and family about it a bit. Did they talk to seeing to your wild imagination or seer seeing things? 
Don't be embarrassed, because that makes you a part of the thousands of other people who have experienced the same. In fact, when the United States Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force tried to identify 144 of these unidentified objects, they were able to pin down only one UAP. One? That's it? What about the remaining 143? They couldn't possibly describe what these objects were because their aerodynamics was nothing like a man-made carrier. Cut to 2022 and NASA has also decided to dip its toes in the pool of the alien hunt, officially. Yes, the mega alien hunt is now on. The US Space Agency is launching a project that will recruit top scientists to examine unidentified aerial phenomena. Makes you wonder what do they know? Is the USA hiding secrets about aliens? Or are the extraterrestrials too slick to come under our radar? Carl Sagan had once said, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, seems like an awful waste of space. On that note, let us take a deep dive into stories of bizarre out of this world incidents that point towards only one thing. We are not alone. Let's begin with the mysterious Kuiper Belt, a cold, dark and distant space in the outer solar system. It's primarily made up of icy objects, dwarf planets, dust, and comets. So far, over two Tauunder, Kuiper Belt objects have been cataloged. But there's one thing that particularly piqued NASA's interest in the Kuiper Belt, and that is the 15810 Aran. A quick Google search will tell you that Aran is a Kuiper Belt object, a large rock that orbits round outside the orbit of Neptune. But is it a rock? In April 2016, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft reached the Kuiper Belt. After capturing its first target, Pluto, the probe turned its sight towards a large object on a strange trajectory. Yes, we are talking about 15810, Auron, named after the Celtic god of death, war, and the other world. An eerily cool name for a very special space object. Why is it so special, you ask? Well, most of the objects in the Kuiper Belt are made of rock and ice, but not Iran. Iran is built different. It moves unlike any of the other cataloged objects in the belt. This has made scientists question if it is made of something completely different, something much stronger, because it's rotating so fast that centrifugal force should have torn it apart. And yet, it remains intact in one piece. How? Scientists believe that the fast spin is creating artificial gravity, and gravity would be the most vital thing needed for long interstellar travel. You cannot have astronauts floating around the spacecraft while traversing hundreds of light years now, can you? This probed the new horizon to be directed toward Iran to take a closer look at the object. And that's when things got exceptionally strange. As the probe tried to get a closer look, suddenly all of its sensors went dead transmissions cut off. It was as if someone was monitoring our presence. Was it someone or something that did not want us to know about them? But just before losing contact, NASA observed that Iran was spinning like a large spaceship would. You can say that it might have been a technical glitch. But wait a minute. Things only get crazier here. Only when New Horizon had moved away from Iran did it manage to suddenly come back to life as if nothing had ever happened. Eerie. Now I would leave it to you to assume what it was, but if it's an intelligent alien civilization, it makes complete sense to stay far away from Earth and to silently observe us, from the cold and dark space in the Kuiper Belt. The next thing on our list is a recent event. China has claimed that it may have picked up signals from alien civilizations. Soon after, China went on to delete the report about the probable discovery. Why? Now, what is China hiding? What we do know, however, is that the signals were detected by SkyEye, the largest radio telescope in the world, located in China's Guizhou province. It has a diameter 500 meters or 1640 feet, and it officially launched a search for extraterrestrial life in September 2020. The report said that the team had actually detected two suspicious signals, one in 2020 and the other in 2022. Since the news spread like a wildfire, 
China later released a statement. This is what it said. The possibility that the suspicious signal is some kind of radio interference is also very high, and it needs to be further confirmed or ruled out. This may be a long process. Well, this statement feels eerily similar to the one they put out about the signals coming from the direction of Proxima Centauri, isn't it? Suspicious. We could go on and on about UFO sightings, Area 51, Voyager 1, sending strange radio signals from interstellar space, and the peculiar campfire that the astronauts on board the Apollo 8 saw on the far side of the moon. The arguments are plenty, but the evidence is few. But I, for one, believe that we are not alone, and we are being monitored by an advanced alien civilization, like animals in a sanctuary. And hopefully, sometime in our lifetimes itself, we would make contact. The first contact. But what do I know? <laughs>